keep my hands to myself No matter how hard I'm trying to I want you all to myself Life hacks I don't know what else to say like life hacks They are life hacks Two words That's four Two Let's go Can't keep my life hacks to myself that was really bad, but anywho, so today's video is going to be life hacks. I'm sure you've already guessed that, but let's dive into this. And also tell me in the comments down below, what is your favorite life hacks that I did in this video? So, let's move on into this video. Whoa! Oh, I forgot to cut the top off of my strawberries. So for this first life pack, we are going to be using some strawberries. You know when you can never get the stem out and you cut so much stuff off? You are going to be taking a straw for this and you're going to be sticking it down the bottom and then you're going to flip it upside down and press and bam, the core and all that yucky stem comes out and then you're just going to peel off the extra stem and bam. This next one is when your mom does not pack you a spoon with your yogurt or your applesauce. Now you can still eat it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the top off, which is usually foil. You're going to take the smaller side and kind of create like a little handle with it, you know, roll it up into a smaller size. And then you're going to start shaping it into like a spoon. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it is amazing. I literally use this every time I eat applesauce. So this is really cool. So when you're, you know, cooking your food, you're stirring it, the little hole in the pot, you can stick the spoon in and bam, you have a spoon holder. So this next one is when you're going on a hike or you're going on a run and you want your water to be super cold, but the ice cubes just melt right away. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour out half a cup of the water and then you're going to make sure you still have half a cup in the water bottle and you're going to put it in the freezer for about three hours at a little tilt and then you're going to have the biggest ice cube ever. And what's also really awesome about this is when the ice cube melts, you have even more water and it's really cold. So you're just going to fill your bottle up with some water and you have some really cold water. This next one is for when you want to make a taco. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip a muffin tan upside down, pick out four of the little muffin tin thingies and you're gonna fold your tortilla in and then you're gonna preheat your oven for 375 degrees pop it in there for about five minutes and you have a crispy taco shell so then once you pull it out it should be perfectly golden brown it looks like a sun baby i don't really know but it's really nice and firm so you can put some beans in there and you can also put some cheese and you have an amazing taco this next one is really fun and also it's a great emergency thing. You are going to be taking a crayon and you're going to be setting it up straight and then you're going to be cutting the top off so then you just have the paper so then you can light the paper so you have a crayon candle. It is so cool. You're just going to light it, you know, just going to light the paper and you have a crayon candle. So then we can get the popcorn on the top. So how you're going to do it is you're going to take the two bottom corners and you're going to start by kind of folding them in. And then just keep on rolling up and crinkling the bag. And your popcorn is right at the top. This one is awesome for you know when you just cannot hold your taco shell up straight. You're going to take your trusty old fork and you're going to slip it right in between the taco and it's going to add this perfect tilt so you can put some beans in there, some cheese, and you have an amazing way to make a taco. This one is really cool when you're packing and you just do not want to put your disgusting shoes right on top of your clothes. You are going to take a shower cap that you get from like an old hotel room. You know what I mean? You just grab those. They are so handy. And what you're going to do is you're going to stretch it out so then you can put your shoes in the, you know, shower cap. And make sure to put the bottom of your shoe face down in the shower cap and 
then you do not have to deal with all the dirt all over your clothes from your shoes. This next one is when you just cannot get a good eyeshadow look. Just put some tape on your lower lash line to your eyebrow. And then you're just going to, you know, do your eyeshadow like you normally would. Put some eyeshadow in the crease and the lid and all that jazz. And then you're just going to peel it off and it is going to have an amazing clean line. You know when you just don't have enough time to wash your hair or you don't have dry shampoo, you can make your own with some baking soda and a salt shaker. So what you're going to do is you're going to pour some into the salt shaker. I personally like to use a funnel so then you don't make such a big mess. And you're just going to screw the top on and then you're just going to shake it into your hair. I usually part my hair where the grease is and then I'm just going to shake it into my hair and it's not going to apply too much. That's the best part about the salt shaker. Are you guys lazy like me and do not want to wash your makeup brushes? Then just grab a makeup removing wipe. It removes the makeup off of your face. So it's, of course, going to remove the makeup off of your brushes. You're just going to swirl it around on the makeup removing wipe. And bam, you have clean brushes for life. So this is awesome for when you want to paint your nails, but you don't really have enough time for them to dry. What you're going to do is, of course, paint your nails like you normally would and get ready a bowl of oil. And you're just going to put your nails in the bowl of oil for about like three seconds and they will pretty much instantly dry. This next one is for Snapchat. Okay, so let's say you want to know who watched your Snapchat. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the little three dot tooly thingy and then you're going to scroll down find the one that you want and you're gonna click the i button and then you get to see exactly who watched your snapchats so shout out to all you guys who watched them this is another snapchat one so let's say you want a custom you know filter what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that little page button thingy that's where all the emojis are and just find one that you like i wanted kind of like an orange one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep on blowing it up um this is a hilarious face but you're just gonna keep on blowing it up blowing it up until it gets kind of like this ombre effect this one is really cool for if you want two filters so oh i absolutely love this one so what you're going to do is you're going to hold your thumb on it and then you're going to keep on swiping and I want the time one. So now you have two filters on your Snapchat. This next one is for when you want your photo to be a little brighter or a little darker. You're going to tap it to focus and then see that little sun button? You're going to swipe up if you want it to be a little brighter or you can swipe down if you want it to be a little darker. <laughs> Let's say you don't want it at all. Just click away and it will go back to normal. When you're at a coffee shop and you want a straw in your warm drink, but you're like, oh, well, no, that's just for ice drinks. No, it isn't. What you're going to do is you're going to squeeze the bottom of the straw and put it in like the little sippy part of the cup. And voila, you have a straw in your hot drink. This one is really cool if you want a fire starter, but you don't have one. You can use some Doritos. I have no idea what is in these Doritos to make them work, but, you know, they work. So what you're going to do is just going to pour the whole bag on to the fire. And my mom, thank you, mom, for lighting the Doritos. And no joke, it just lights. It's crazy and amazing. This is the finished fire. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be amazing if you guys liked it and subscribed to the Frilly Family channel. And also, I have a vlog channel, and I vlog a lot on there, behind the scenes, and cool audition stuff. So, make sure to go head on over there and subscribe. And my mom just did a how to start a YouTube channel video, and I was talking about my YouTube channel in it. So, make sure to go subscribe to that. And all the links will be in the down bar, so I hope you guys... Have an amazing rest of your day.